Today, the champion of the NFC will be crowned. The New Orleans Saints and the St. Louis Rams, one of these teams, will be headed to the Super Bowl. These two teams tied for the best record in the NFL and both had a first round bye in the playoffs. The visiting New Orleans Saints defeated the Green Bay Packers last week to make it to this game and the St. Louis Rams defeated the Atlanta Falcons by a score of 32 to 17. Last week Tavon Austin made his return and helped guide the Rams to victory. Today's matchup is one between two high octane offenses, the Saints in their wide open passing game and the Rams with their deep and complete offense with talent across the board. It has been a phenomenal year for the St. Louis Rams and they are now one win away from making their return to the Super Bowl. The final game played in this building will be one that sends a team to the greatest event in football. We are underway as Greg Zerline boots it away, sailing into the end zone where Kenyon Barner will take a knee. The Rams on defense to open the game against Drew Brees in the New Orleans Saints offense. Breeze has a stout offensive line, Jimmy Graham and Marcus Colson as his top options. First down and 10, Breeze back to pass, firing outside and finds Marcus Colston in front of Janoris Jenkins. That is one of the battles to watch today. Jenkins led the league in interceptions this year with 10. Now the give on first down is to Mark Ingram, right side as he gains seven. They're not going to run it as much as most teams, obviously. On second down, they give Breeze plenty of time. Wide open is Mark Ingram as he gains separation from Darren Bates, a gain of 17. We need to find ways there to pressure Drew Breeze. First and 10, dumping it off short, caught by Jimmy Graham. Close to the 35-yard line, another Saints first down. You'll probably see a lot of double coverage today on Jimmy Graham. Second and five, Breeze pressured and sacked. First on the day for the Rams, it's Everson Griffin. And it's guys like him who are key today as it's very easy to get fatigued against these high-paced passing offenses. And we got to keep our starters fresh. Third down and 12. Breeze goes empty backfield. He dumps it off. Caught by Kenny Stills. Broken tackle and taken to the ground by Laurinaitis. A solid Saints opening possession that ends at the Rams 30. And this kick is up. And the field goal makes it 3-0 New Orleans. We've gotten a taste of the Saints offense, and now here is the most dangerous player on our offense. It's Tavon Austin from three yards deep. Starts up the middle, hesitates at the 20. Austin spins outside, putting on the Jets, and here we go! Across the 40, and goodbye! Tavon Austin, and the Rams have taken the lead. There's the explosiveness, maybe the best kick return of Austin's career. This appeared to be another average forgettable return, but somehow Austin evades this clump of defenders, and the rest is history. Rams take the lead as the Saints take over. Breeze drops back on first and 10, and pressured off his right side the second time from that side, and this time it's Chris Long. On third down and 12, they stack receivers and Jimmy Graham left as Breeze. Throwing short, caught by Graham. He's out of bounds, nowhere near the marker, and that will lead to a punt. Thomas Morstead kicks it away, and Odell Beckham awaits at about the 26-yard line. He's going to look to cut to the far side to the 40. Jukes ahead, and he's down at the 44, so great field position. And now the first snap of the day for the Rams offense. Leading by four already as Bradford hands off, and Ben Tate. Not much room to run. Sean Phillips with the tackle. Ben Tate led the way with 212 yards last week. Now Bradford fakes and fires to Demarius Thomas, and this pass is nowhere near him. A real head scratcher as this was not a very tough throw and he was wide open. Third down and 10, Thomas isolated left, three wide. Saw protection as Bradford takes a shot and is nearly intercepted as his pass was intended for Stedman Bailey. And this is a game that may come down to how many plays are made by each secondary. Great coverage all around by the Saints. Rams have to punt on the way and the Saints take over. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. And Breeze hooks up with Lance Moore as he sheds the tackle, spins away from Jenkins, and Lance Moore to the 43. All the receivers in tight, Jimmy Graham in the slot. First and 10, Breeze. Outside, caught by Dayrick Rogers, turns upfield and gets 11 yards and a first down. In Rams territory as Colston comes in motion. Again, deep drop for Breeze. Has plenty of time and waits for Colston to get some separation. He finds him for another first down. You're already seeing what happens when we can't get any pass rush. To the ground and Mark Ingram is put down by James Laurinaitis. Gain of two. Third down with Jimmy Graham in the slot. Breeze needs eight. Firing it deep and finds Jimmy Graham over the top of defenders and that is a Saints touchdown. Double coverage and you still let him get behind you. Laurinaitis and Ty Zimmerman 
Jimmy Graham is going to be a big problem. Arguably, each team's most dangerous player has scored a touchdown as the Saints lead by three. Sam Bradford firing outside, and Stedman Bailey cannot make the catch. It's third and nine. Austin and Bailey left, Thomas to the right. Bradford fakes, fires to Austin, and he cannot make the catch. Both Austin and Bailey drop catches that would have been first downs. They're both in traffic and tough to make, but it's the playoffs, and you have to find a way to make the tough plays. Saints ball in the I formation actually as the fullback is in the game and Breeze hands off Mark Ingram running outside across the 20 and he gets about four on the carry. Fullbacks out of there, they go empty backfield on third down and six. Breeze facing the blitz, it's picked up. He fires outside and a perfect play that results in a first down to Lance Moore. They stick with the empty backfield, Drew Breeze back to pass. Good coverage as Breeze is pressured and hit by Chris Long. Barely got the throw off, so no loss. Jimmy Graham in motion as Breeze will throw on third and 11. Pressure picked up as he fires the Lance Moore and he is hit by Jenkins and dropped it. Both teams have drives end in similar fashion as the Rams have to the 38 yard line. Bradford fakes to Tate and has time now buying more as he runs outside. Bradford off balance and now Rhett Ellison drops the pass. Drops galore as the Rams face third down. They need six. Bradford fires and hooks up with Demarius Thomas for a first down. Did not drop that one. In Saints territory, 9.05 to play in the first half. It's Ben Tate. Left side across the 45 and a pickup of 4-5. Trips left on third down. Austin on the very inside. Bradford doesn't like what he sees. Buys time and finds Stedman Bailey. Runs inside the 30-yard line and a first down is converted for St. Louis. Bradford making some great throws on the run. Now back to the ground. It's Ben Tate up the middle. Inside the 10 and a touchdown is saved with about the four. The Rams nearly score and now have to earn these last four yards. Hand off inside and Carlos Hyde. Touchdown St. Louis. They regain the lead here in the second quarter. Rams lead by four with just over five and a half to play in the first half. Breeze, no pressure, Graham has nothing to do, firing it long and overthrown for Kenny Stills. Back to the empty backfield on third, down and five from the 25 yard line, Breeze dumps it off short, Barner breaks a tackle, first down New Orleans, how was this a conversion? Barner had to come back to make this catch and then broke the tackle that sprung him for the first down. Second down and three, Breeze gives to Ingram, left side met by Darren Bates and he will go no further. No yards on the game. Once more, empty backfield on third down and three. Breeze, with time running out, he finds Graham outside. First down, Jimmy Graham into Rams territory where he is blasted by TJ McDonald. Third and 10 from the Rams, 48. Breeze from the shotgun. O-line gives him time and Jimmy Graham at the sideline is there again. He is approaching 100 yards. Shotgun on first down and 10. Rams get pressure and the pass is knocked down by Trumaine Johnson. We need more contested plays in this passing game. Second and 10, Breeze has Graham open. Turns up at the 20, out of bounds at the 17. They've entered the red zone, now third and one. Breeze will throw, middle, cut by Colston inside the 10 and down to the Rams five. Trying to snatch the lead back. Lance Moore in motion, toss for Mark Ingram. A race outside and Mark Ingram is in. Touchdown New Orleans, they have taken the lead back after an impressive drive with some big third down conversions. Saints lead by a field goal as the Rams have 56 seconds left to answer. Tavon Austin from four yards deep on the near side following blocks to the 20, now racing outside across the 40 and Austin to the 48. Another great return. Rams have plenty of time now to get some damage done as Tate inside running ahead as he lost the ball and it's recovered by Jake Long. A very close call and the booth is going to review the fumble. Now this is one of the rare instances where if the fumble is not true, it benefits the Saints. And there is no fumble actually, so the Rams have to back up. Second down and 16. Split backfield as Bradford on the run. Now dumping short Isaiah Pete inside the 40 and runs to the 38 yard line. They spread it out on third down and seven. Bradford back to pass, a free rusher incoming and Sean Phillips sacks Sam Bradford. And that may knock the Rams on a field goal range. It would be a 63 yarder. Instead, the Rams will take a shot at the end zone. Last play of the first half. Bradford throwing it deep and it is caught by Demarius Thomas and they say out of bounds. No review incoming. 
We're going to halftime. An exciting first half where the Rams are down by three. An awesome fight for the NFC Championship. The Rams are down by three and will start the third quarter with the football. The Saints have had the ball for most of the game and they've moved the ball effectively. Rams only down by three. They scored once on special teams and once on offense. Third quarter begins with a quick screen outside of Austin up across the first down marker for a quick 11 yards. Sam was just three of nine in the first half. Back to pass again. Good pickup by Tate and that allows Sam Bradford to find Demarius Thomas over the middle for another first down. Cook sent in motion, and the handoff is the Ben Tate. Left side across midfield, and a gain of five or six. Tate has ran the ball fairly effectively so far this game, and now Bradford fakes. Rolling out as a man wide open, just lobs at the Jared Cook, who takes a big hit, has just enough to move the chains. First down, it's Tate outside, lowers the shoulder, runs through a defender. Tate down to the 27 as he has continued his great regular season into the postseason. Three wide on first down and 10. Bradford, plenty of time, laying it in, and Austin cannot secure the catch. Would have made it first and goal. On second down, the handoff to Tate, and he's stopped this time after a couple by Vontez Perfect. Cook, Austin, and Thomas all bunched up. Beckham isolated left, third and seven. Deep drop for Sam Bradford, now steps up to find Isaiah Pede, who changes direction and sprints up ahead for the first down at the 15-yard line. That was not a very easy play. Offset eye formation, toss left, it's Tate to the 15, he's hit by Landry who knocks the ball free and luckily it goes out of bounds. At the 13, it's third down, Saints dial up a blitz, Bradford rolling out of the pocket and he is chased down and sacked by Akeem Hicks and this play is a result of not trusting your old line. If you stay in the pocket there, there's Tavon in the end zone. The long drive results in three points, we're all tied up in the third quarter. Drew Brees pressured, throws it short, caught by Lance Moore from the 35 to the 40, and taken down at the 42. On third down, the fullback Burton in motion. Brees lobbing outside, hauled in by Graham in Rams territory, and down to the 30, nine catches, and a buck 29 receiving for Jimmy Graham. At the Rams 26, the Saints face third down and six. Breeze, screen set up, caught by Mark Ingram, chased by Bates, and he has the first down, a gain of 10 to the 16. A new set of downs as Breeze drops back. Good coverage, Breeze is hit, and the pass goes flying incomplete. Third down and six, it's Barner and Ingram next to Breeze. Again the screen, it's Mark Ingram going down! Alec Ogletree will not let him convert this time! Great open field hit, and now the field goal. Saints regain the lead 20 to 17. Bradford from the 20, drops back and finds Tavon Austin. This will be good for a first down. Only his second catch on the day. Offset eye formation on the toss left goes to Tate. Has room outside, led the way by Hyde, and here goes Ben Tate. See ya, touchdown St. Louis, 69 yard touchdown. This play is the product of great blocking. First it was Cyril Richardson pulling, and then Carlos Hyde up ahead as Ben Tate does the rest. He's maybe been our most valuable player this year. These Saints leads never last long. Rams are up by four late third quarter as Ingram is hit by Michael Brockers, and the play is over. Third and eight from the 22, and again the Saints are going to the screen. It's Ingram, men out in front as he gets a big block on McDonald, and here he goes across the 50. Mark Ingram all the way to the Rams' 35-yard line as the third quarter will come to an end. One quarter away from sending a team to the Super Bowl, and again the Saints go to the screen. Barner spins out Burner up the sideline. Kenyon Barner for the touchdown. Saints take the lead. They've ran a bunch of screens these last two drives, and these last two hurt the most. The Rams are down by three with 13.48 to play. Bradford hits, finds Bailey, and here goes Stedman across the 40 in Saints territory. I told you he answered quickly. Touchdown, St. Louis. Stedman Bailey on one play. Slant, catch, score. Tavon Austin had the only block he needed. The rest was just pure speed. 31 to 17, Rams on top. From the 20, Saints begin as Breeze. Given time, fires it to Moore, and Jenkins missed the swat. Lance Moore into Rams territory and driven out of bounds by Ty Zimmerman. And the offenses just keep matching each other with big play after big play. This has been a fantastic game. 
in Rams territory. Breeze fires it to Moore again. This time Jenkins is there to make the tackle, but at the 28. Breeze has picked apart this secondary back to the shotgun on first down as the Rams blitz on the run. Jimmy Graham touchdown. Unbelievable. Drew Breeze with a fantastic pass. Rams dial the pressure they needed, and Breeze just runs right and lays it in perfect. This game has turned into a track meet. This might come down to who has the ball last. Rams are down by 3, 11, 35 to play. Bradford from under center throws it quick, and Jared Cook drops it, and it's almost intercepted. Very fortunate. Third down and eight, one of the biggest plays of the game. Bradford firing wide open Tavon Austin first down and down at midfield. New Orleans with only two down linemen as the Rams go three wide and run it. It's Ben Tate, first down and more. Inside field goal range to the 20 and out of bounds. The Rams are on the move now at the Saints 15 yard line. Bradford throws it short. Caught Stedman Bailey to the five and put down at the three. Three tight ends and Carlos Hyde. First and goal. Hands off Ben Tate. Powers through a tackle and touchdown St. Louis. The Rams have retaken the lead. And Ben Tate has had another fantastic game, 174 yards. Saints down by four inside seven minutes. Empty backfield for Breeze. Patient and finds Dayrick Rogers in Rams territory. And it appears the Saints are already back in business. First and ten. Can the Rams stop the screen this time? Ingram has the catch. Blocks in front. Ingram first down. Broke a tackle. Now a stiff arm. And he's down inside the 20. Over 100 yards receiving for Mark Ingram. 5.39 to play. Breeze on first and ten. Great coverage downfield. And Breeze is sacked. Chris Long with his seconds on the day. Coverage was great. And they'll back up to the 27. Less than five minutes to play. Breeze on second and long. Again, great coverage, and Chris Long with another sack. That's now three on the day, and the Rams' defense is heating up. Third down in 22. Empty backfield for Drew Breeze. A long way to go as he lobs outside for Colston. Catch the 15 and down at the 12. Fourth down. With the Super Bowl on the line, the Saints will go for it. Fourth down and four from the 12. Breeze back to pass, has time. Fires dropped by Nick Toon. Turnover on downs and the Rams will take over. Almost a touchdown that would have given the Saints the lead and Nick Toon dropped it. The Rams do not have to retake the lead. They can protect their own. It's Ben Tate carrying and going nowhere as Ben Tate is hurt. He was tackled by Leron Landry. He gets up but he has to leave the field. Isaiah Pete enters on second and 13. Sam Bradford drops back to pass, throws to Austin, caught into the marker, and shy by about one yard. And Ben Tate quickly returns to the game. He wants this conversion. It is Ben Tate up the middle. It's gonna be close. They'll measure for it. And he did not get it. Fourth down in inches. You have to trust your offense here, and the Rams are going for it. Fourth down in inches. Bradford gives the Tate first down up the gut. They move the chains, and it looks like Ben Tate is hurt again. You cannot take Ben Tate out of this game. He's still in there. First and ten. Tate up the gut, and he has about five or six on this carry. The Rams are a first down away from victory, and now it's Carlos Hyde as he does not surprise the Saints. He only gets a yard. Third down and three. No timeouts for New Orleans. Bradford gives the Tate. Blocked by Hyde. And the St. Louis Rams are going to the Super Bowl. Ben Tate gets the final conversion. And the St. Louis Rams have defeated the New Orleans Saints. We're going to the Super Bowl. What an absolutely fantastic football game. This was an epic NFC Championship clash. Things heated up in the second half. The big plays started coming, and both offenses looked unstoppable. Back and forth down the wire until the Saints could not convert on fourth down with Nick Toon's big drop. It was almost a two-minute drill situation for Sam Bradford in the offense with the Super Bowl on the line. Instead, it was the offense putting an end to the game and winning the NFC Championship. In the Super Bowl, the Rams will take on the winner between the Bengals and the Ravens, and that team is the Cincinnati Bengals. There is your Super Bowl, the Rams and the Bengals. 
The Bengals beat the Ravens 32 to 17 as they are the AFC champions. So your Super Bowl quarterback matchup is Sam Bradford versus Terrell Pryor. Cincinnati's halfback is Jaquiz Rogers, and in the passing game, we still have to worry about A.J. Green, the emerging tight end, Tyler Eifert. And here is a look at the top players on their roster. They have a great defense and the playmakers on offense that do a lot of damage. Here is your Super Bowl matchup, the St. Louis Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. We've made it this far, 13-3, the number one seed. Defeat the Falcons, defeat the Saints. Now only one game remains. Can the St. Louis Rams hoist another Lombardi trophy? We will find out in the Super Bowl next. Thank you guys for watching the NFC Championship game. I hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you have not already, and leave your thoughts below on the game today and the Super Bowl matchup upcoming. Again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the Super Bowl. Have a great day, and I'll see you then.